going on guys here at Home Depot picking up a little thumb screw for the bottom of this Mobius quarter inch by 20 it's about a 3 8 inch long thumb screw I'm gonna put I'm gonna put this Mobius mount it to a gimbal that's gonna hang right from the front of, uh, of this front plate right here I'm gonna take off this little custom made vibration dampening mount thing it's a freaking needle in a haystack in here well to help you guys find this just turn around look for specialty I have to go back inside because I forgot something. Now this uh, this is the top plate to the gimbal, and uh, I'm gonna be fastening it onto here, not with zip ties like everyone else does, but uh, with some screws. I'm just gonna put some screws here on the bottom. Uh, it's gonna go right through, probably probably uh, two and one in each each hole right here. And then in one right there in that hole and that lines up perfectly to these three slots on the front plate so I got to go back in Home Depot M3 half Here we go again.
so here it is. Uh, a few changes since the last video I made. I know it's been quite a long time since I made a video on this, but um, uh, let's see what happened. I got a uh, cloverleaf and skew planter antenna. This one is a cloverleaf since it has three blades. And I actually have that pointed downward just so I can kind of get away from everything else on here. And I have a skew planter with four blades. I'll put that on my uh, put that on my receiver for my quantum goggles. And here is one of the pieces that I got from Home Depot. Fits on there nicely. Got two little washers on there, just in case it doesn't fit perfectly on the gimbal. And here is the gimbal. I'm taking it out of the box here. I did test it out, plugged the battery into it, and kind of made sure it, it balances itself and it works pretty good. Uh, this particular gimbal, you do not need to update the software. It's actually recommended that, that you don't try to update it. And then all the other parts that I got from Home Depot, well, it was only a few bucks, it's pretty cheap. So I think I'm just going to cut this off. What I was going to do is make a before and after video of uh, the video quality with a Mobius in there. So I have this stuck in there between those rubber bands. And um, <clears throat> so what I can tell you is this, with a Mobius in there by itself, not plugged into the USB cable, uh, it works fine. There's like hardly any jello. Uh, the video quality is good. Um, but if you want FBV, like I did, you plug that USB cable in there and um, then comes the jello. And that's because there's vibration that travels from this cable and it, it kind of vibrates against this upper plate and then vibrates the camera and then you have jello. So um, I was going to do a before and after video but I said screw it. I'm sure you already know what jello looks like and I'm sure you know what um, video footage with a gimbal looks like. So I'll just cut this thing off and get the installation started for the gimbal. So here's the bag that came with the gimbal with uh, some screws and nuts. All right, now the reason why I didn't want to use these is because these are too short. And um, so I went ahead and bought these other longer ones. And it looks like these nylon uh, locking nuts right here fit perfectly on the screws that I already bought from Home Depot today. So it's going to look something like that. Uh, now, as you can see, those washers that I have on here are a little bit too small. So I think what I'm going to do is use these these uh, these prop adapter spacers that came with all my and I have a whole bunch of these, so I'm going to use this one right here, and it'll just fit right on screw just like that. So it's a little bit bigger than the washers that I have on there. Got the top plate mounted on there. Alright, got the rest of the gimbal attached to the upper plate. And these little rubber things were kind of tricky to get together. So, and I have the, uh, the Mobius secured on here like this. And, and the reason why I don't have it at the very end uh, is because this is where I have to mount it in order for it to balance. So if I don't, uh, if I don't put this in the right spot, spot then it'll either tilt this way or tilt that way uh, before I turn it on so you want to have this thing as perfectly balanced as possible before you power it up and here's one of the cables that came with the gimbal it has three separate wires on here or rather four separate wires but you only need one okay do not use all four three or two of these you don't need it you just need one so just pick a color that you like and then just peel it off and you're gonna plug it into the gimbal control board so I got some of these pin headers from um, Fry's Electronics it's a huge electronics store if you don't know what that is um, so uh, so I'm just gonna take a few of these pin headers and just cut three of those off two or three of those and stick it on this servo cable and then I'm going to use that for the extension. 
this side right here without the pins is going to plug into the transmitter and then this part right here with the pins that I just plugged in there that's going to plug into that'll plug in right here to this Mobius cable it'll look something like that and connected the little extension for the Mobius which runs back here to the transmitter And with all gimbal installation videos on YouTube, must do the classic pitch and roll test. All right, I got everything connected and ready to go. I just have that one wire in the front right there. I didn't need the other three. So it's the upper left pin that you wanna plug that into. I just chose the gray wire. And I have that running back to the signal pin on channel 8 on my uh, receiver. And then taking a look at, at my transmitter here, I'm in the mixer. I have a 9XR. And so I'm, I'm setting up the mix for P3, which is potentiometer 3, which is this knob right here. I have uh, these other knobs doing something else. Uh, controlling the the attitude adjustment uh, for the NASA but uh, so for P3 this is what I have um, just have it on weight 100% and then I changed the offset to negative 40 so what was happening was when I put this thing in the middle uh, the camera was pointing down so I had to change that and you can set this however you want but um, so after I turned it on you know I kind of wanted the camera point it just downward a little bit while I'm flying so when I have the pot in the middle here the camera is just going to be pointed just slightly downward and then if I turn this let's see if I can get this in camera all right I can look I can point the camera downward and I can look up that's about as far as it'll go up it won't go any further than that uh, but as far as downward goes, you can actually point the camera backward a little bit. You can go past the pointing straight down position, um, which is not totally necessary, but that's just how I have it set here. So it looks like uh, I may run into an issue with the cable that I have here on the Mobius. Um, it is kind of thick, so when I do tilt the camera too far, tilt it up, that doesn't seem to be such a problem. Uh, if I go down, the cable actually hits under there, and, uh, and, and that's a problem. So, so I may have to make my own cable something a lot thinner, or, um, or maybe just remove this black um, protective sleeve over this cable. I just need to be a lot more thin and flexible, um, not so bulky like this one is. But um, other than that, everything is works pretty good. I uh, can't wait to fly it. And that is pretty much it. My Mobius on my new gimbal with FPV.